guys, I'm Bertio from Microsoft and welcome in this new video. Today we are going to review this revolver. This revolver is the Savage Bull of the 2002. This revolver came with a few BBs, the classic yellow BB that you can find in the usual supermarket, even if I don't suggest you to use them because they aren't uh, the perfect BBs for these guns, in fact you don't know from where they come from so they may be uh, probably broken or not uh, useful for the world of, the, of being used and after we have the pistol this pistol is a revolver and it's long 28cm the fact that it's so long uh, gives uh, to the company that made it the idea of making it of plastic. The fact that it's made of plastic makes it really light and it gave you a better mobility of the gun while using it. The gun itself is very very big and because of that thing it doesn't have all this iron inside of it. In fact, this part is of plastic with the, this part and this part. Even this part is made of plastic, as the barrel of the gun. The inside part of the gun, however, is made of iron, so the mechanics of this airsoft pistol are pretty good. With that pistol, for using that pistol, you have to buy some of these plastic revolver cartridges that came inside the box with the revolver but only in the number of six. So if you want to use this revolver for a soft match that lasts for a lot of time, you probably have to buy more cartridges of this type for the revolver. This revolver is very light, even if it's huge thanks to its design and uh, its power is around the 300 fps which more or less uh, corresponds to one joule of energy which is the lows uh, for the revolvers in Italy. This revolver hasn't give up and uh, this makes uh, the trajectory of the BBs a little shorter of what it would be if it would have give up and uh, it works with green gas. So now I show you what you should have to use this water. I suggest you to buy some other cartridges to go with the revolver and uh, I would recommend you to use white BBs. So after that uh, I remember you guys that you have to use the green gas for power this gun and you have to insert it from down here. And after I've said that, I think that we can go on with the test of this gun and uh, shooting a few shots. Okay guys, that now before shooting, the first thing we have to do is to have our BBs and to have some gas. The charge of the gas is made from this uh, valve at the end here, but because of the depth uh, where the valve well, is, you have to put the gas very straight into the valve or it will spray everywhere, so please be aware that uh, you could uh, keep a little bit of gas out there. So now you are pointing it to the motor and after you have to press it inside, ok? That should be enough for all the shots that we have to do. Now that we have uh, put the gas inside, we can uh, remove from here the cartridges and insert the BBs from the frontal part of these things. So now I take this. And now that we have reloaded our BBs, 
in our cartridges, we can continue by plugging them into the gun. Plugging them into the gun, you simply have to take this part and reload them inside their spaces. Another useful suggestion is to take a speed loader for the cartridges and it will help in case you are going to reload the revolver and not do it with your hands as I'm doing right now. Okay, now that it's loaded we can go for a few shots. Okay everyone, now we are in the shooting spot and we have our revolver with us as uh, to shoot First we have to arm this and now we can shoot. I'm going to shot the right in front of me or less in this position so that you be able to see where the BBs go. Ok, now that we have finished our babies, as you saw they were 6, we can get back into the studio and finish out the review of this revolver. Ok, gentlemen, now that we are back in our studio with all the mess made before, with uh, all the babies and the gas and these extra babies everywhere, ok, we can conclude the review of this revolver. Ok, so, taking the conclusions, this revolver, the pro and the cons, and why you should or not should buy it. First thing that you have to mention, it's a revolver, so you don't have to expect to have a lot of BBs, the thing that you have on your pistol, because actually you have 6 BBs in the chamber and after it's finished. So, mind that thing before judge the crucial, because every revolver has its shots. Second thing, the gas. The gas is very, very, very essential for this gun. So uh, remember, you have to buy the gas for this gun because it won't work if you don't have the gas, as you have to know. And I have to say that uh, the gas storage of this gun is very awesome because. Uh, it keeps the it holds the gas for a very long amount of time and uh, you can shoot around from 60 to 70 bbs for each uh, reload of the gas of uh, around 5 uh, 6 seconds the cartridges the cartridges are cool see and uh, very awesome but they are not uh, comfortable to use in fact uh, you probably will have to buy more of them and so you will have to have some extra pocket in your setup to hold them. Now let's talk about the, the power of the gun. As I said before, it's around 300 FPS, which is around one joule, so it isn't extremely powerful. However, for its power, it shoots at around 40-45 meters of distance with no wind and with good trajectory. So, meaning that uh, you won't have uh, to expect. To shoot like a sniper with that gun even because you don't have an op-up so the BB will be extremely transported from the wind as you have seen before in the shooting test and uh, that will make the pistol less practical to use okay however for its size uh, this pistol is really light and extremely mobile so it's a point for it level now what I have to say about this pistol, in my opinion. I used this pistol in a match and uh, in the D-Day special episode that will be published uh, the next week or the gameplay after. And uh, to use it uh, in the battlefield is really comfortable and uh, very a good pistol. That's the, a good pistol indeed. Uh, its problem is that you have really more or less no BBs and you have of course to buy new cartridges for it because with 6 cartridges you are not going anywhere. So you have to have more cartridges of that kind and you probably will do some 
serious damage for the enemy team. In, in the other hand, it's uh, really lightweight, very mobile, so a uh, really useful pistol, easy to carry, and uh, yes, I like that pistol. It's uh, very well made and it has good uh, level of defense. So, for less, this has been everything I had to say about that pistol, and see you guys next week. Thank <laughs> you.